Hello, welcome once again to another edition of the Coach's Corner Program. I'm Jeff Ruth, along with Coach Williamson. And Chuck, uh, we have two weeks to talk yes, about. Sir. Last week, uh, no show because of uh, all the festivities associated right. with homecoming. Yes. Coaches, yes. I know, would probably prefer not to have homecoming, yes. but every coach faces it at one time uh, during yeah. the season. It's definitely a distraction. So, but, you know, kids love it. They yeah. enjoy it. So. Kind of a split uh, Two weeks ago, you talked about a must-win scenario mm -hmm. at Clear Fork. You went over there and pretty much dominated mm -hmm. that ball game. And then last week uh, uh, against Ontario, it just I mean, Ontario's 8-0 for a reason. Right, right, absolutely. Um, like I said, uh, I know we were talking a little bit before we got on the air that uh, one play kind of exemplified the whole game. Um, we, we, we found a matchup on film that we liked. And we hit it, um, and we're going down to score. And their kid just just pure effort. That's all it was. It was pure effort. Ran our kid down, and then they get a pick down in the, in the end zone, and and then it kind of went downhill from there. Right now, with two weeks to go mm -hmm. uh, in the season, obviously tomorrow's uh, again or Friday's a, a must-win situation mm -hmm. for you, Pleasant. Yeah, it, it seems like I, I, kids got to think I'm sound like a broken record because I say this saying that this you know we have to win this week. Uh, you know, I, I checked the. Um, past year points and all that, and it's 91% chance in if we win. So it's a win, you're in, you lose, it's not looking so good. So. All right. Well, we'll come back. We'll take highlights at uh, both the games two weeks ago at Clear Fork, the homecoming game last week against Ontario. Also have a player we're going to talk to, and we'll preview the game on Friday night over at Pleasant. We'll do all of that right after these words. Once again, back on the Coach's Corner program, as I said, we have two weeks to talk about uh, this week. The game two weeks ago on the road over at uh, Clear Fork, and mm -hmm. Clear Fork maybe didn't have the, the record that they had certainly hoped mm -hmm. for this year, but uh, uh, that's a tough place to play. No, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we reminded our kids all week about the tradition they have. I know they, and those kids are hard nosed kids, they play hard. Um, you know, they had a couple injuries that hurt them. They got a couple guys back. So we knew going in there would be a, be a tough, tough haul. But our kids went in and executed and played well. All right. And uh, we talk about special teams occasionally, mm -hmm. certainly a big uh, special teams play on that punt return. Yeah, Marquise Long, uh, he's a special athlete. He, he got out in space, and, and when he gets space, he, he's, he's gone. He's Good player. That one better be on the highlights. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights in the game two weeks ago at Clear Fork. Yeah, I believe that's Mike Mike Williams. Um, he's he's leading the area in sacks, leading the league, leading the area. Um, he's just got a motor that doesn't stop. And this is Keith here, taking it back. Um, great job by. Jamel Thompson, give him a lead block here. You'll, you'll see number 16 get in front of him here. Gets a huge key block right up there. It, it springs him. When Marquise gets in the clear, he, he's got speed to burn. And, you know, obviously a key run, but you don't make a 95-yard punt return unless you have some good blocking yeah, ahead yeah. of you. Yeah, they did a tremendous job. The punt return team did a Heck of a job. Uh, this is one of our guests today, Dalen Bolin, number five, right there. Cracked, cracked it through. I think we've run a stretch left. Um, breaks through again up front. Good job. Dalen had great vision, saw the Saw the lane and cup went through it. It's a good thing it wasn't a 38 yard, yeah. the ball was at the 38 yard line, just got in. Yes. Another defense stop. Our defense played well all night. The fog actually started moving. I don't know how we, 
funny story. We we do a drill on, on Tuesdays. And we blindfold Alex and make him make these throws blindfolded. So it, you know it works on just his footwork yeah. and makes him and. He, he's getting out. He completes them, and he, he come running over after that score, and he said, Coach, our blindfold, because I couldn't see him, so I, I kind of knew where he was going to be there, so I laid it up there. And really, the statistics were fairly close yeah. considering the, the, you know, the, the lopsided score. Yeah. Yeah, here, here's uh, – we ran what we call Saints here. It's a little stop route wheel with Ray J coming out of the backfield. You know, he's got a six, six seven-yard – lead there well, you got to finish those plays off he knows it that was right after Ontario took the yeah, they just kicked off and, and mm-hmm. they just went down and scored so yeah. that would have been so yes. so big if you had been able to score there yeah yeah we, little, we call this Viper uh, we had one on one match up with Keontae on the outside um, and again Alex puts it right on the money Ray J had a great night. I think he had 10 catches for almost 200 yards, 10 or 11 catches. Um, they were giving us the flats, and we just started taking them. I believe this is Ray J again. We just run a vert, get the ball out to him in space. He does a good job. I think Alex threw for two, two and some change. He's, he's zeroing in on um, 2,000 yards. Passing. The two hundred and forty-two to two yeah. on the rush. That, that obviously that wasn't the game plan. No, no, no. We we definitely need to run the ball better. And, you know, we're working that hard on it this week. And you know, typically cap the Ontario quarterback. Uh, you know, quite a story. You know, yeah. A kid out of Ethiopia yeah. that was adopted, and uh, he's really developed into a very good football player. Yeah, actually, John McAllister from McAllister Recruiting was down on the sideline before the game. I talked to I know John for years mm-hmm. going through, but he was there taking a look at him, uh, looking at Alex, looking at some of the guys. So, yeah, he, he's a good player, a really special player. John's getting up in age, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't know it, though. He still gets, he still gets around. All right, very good. When we come back, we have a, is it one player or we two, have a couple yeah, of players? Tonight. We've got a couple yeah. of players we're going to talk to, and we'll do that right after these words. The U.S. Army Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps is one of the largest character development and citizenship programs for youth in the world. Their mission is to promote character and leadership development focused on developing self-confidence, discipline, citizenship, leadership skills, and a sense of responsibility within the individual cadet. Throughout this course, cadets will focus on developing citizenship and patriotism. They will develop self-reliance and responsiveness to all authority, improving the ability to communicate well both orally and in writing. They will develop an appreciation of the importance of physical fitness. They will increase a respect for the role of the U.S. Armed Forces in support of national objectives. They will develop a knowledge of team building skills and basic military skills. In addition, anyone taking the one to three years of this course grants cadets the ability to rank higher should they pursue a military career pathway. For more information, contact your guidance counselor or see Lieutenant Colonel Espinoza in room 234. Back once again on the Coach's Corner program. This is the segment where we talk to uh, a player or two and have a couple of seniors uh, joining me. Uh, Dylan Bowler to my immediate left and uh, Deontay Ford to my far left. And uh, we'll start with you since you're the closest. First of all, any significance with the Bluffton sweatshirt? Uh, no. A couple years ago we went to camp in Bluffton for three days, practice on our what we were doing during the summer. That's about it. Just kept the sweatshirt. Yeah. All right. Talk a little bit about the position or positions that you play. Um, I play – this year I play running back, and last year I played defensive line. It's been a big switch, but I've adapted to it very well. Was that your idea to switch, or the coaches uh, kind of came to you? No, nah, the coaches kind of came to me and said, we need a guy to step up, and I was that guy. 
Uh, do you like uh, obviously you, you like playing offense then I guess or yeah I enjoy it. it talk about the touchdown last week uh, it was a 37 yard touchdown run it's the good thing the ball wasn't at the 38 yard line but yeah. uh, you knew right when you got to like the two three yard line you you needed to make a, a, an effort and you were able to get in yeah my offensive line made a big gap for me to run up in and uh I just credited it to them do you just play offense this year then? Do yeah. you play any special teams? Yeah, I play kickoff and punt. Okay. So were you on the punt return team then that helped a couple of weeks ago spring that 95-yard return? No, I was just on the punt, not the punt return. Okay. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, having a new coach and coaching staff. And I know you're familiar with some of the coaches, but, you know, a new head coach this year. And, uh, you know, as a senior, you've seen a lot of coaching changes the last few years. Just kind of talk a little bit about what this coaching staff has, has brought. Uh, this coaching staff has brought a lot of discipline within the program. We haven't had that in the past four years. Since I'm a senior, I've had four different head coaches, and I have never seen anything like this. I was talking to one of the players a few weeks ago, talking about the fact that, you know, how disciplined um, and how regimented practices are and so forth. And, uh, you know, everything's pretty much, you know, laid down, you know, time-wise, and that uh, that hasn't been something that maybe has been the case in the past. No, it was definitely not the case in the past. It was kind of, everything was kind of unorganized everywhere else, but this year we got it to it Just, you know, you got a couple games left. Uh, certainly Pleasant's always a, a big rivalry, especially after the game last year, and uh, then your, your home game uh, in, in two weeks. Just kind of talk a little bit about your mindset going into these last couple of ball games, and you know, hopefully a, a playoff game or two. Uh, my mindset: we just need to stay focused, hundred percent, hundred percent effort. Everybody needs to buy in at practice and off the field as well, so we can just click as a team and do what we need to do on the field. All right. Did you set any personal goals for yourself to kind of start the season? Um, playoffs was number one goal for us as a whole team involved, and me personally, because as me as a Senior, I've only seen the playoffs twice, and I only touched the field on the playoffs once, other than the one time we made it in 2020, which everybody got in. Yeah, okay. Do you play any other sports? Uh, I run track, and I used to play baseball. Okay. You're a senior. Any idea what you're going to do next year? Uh, my plan is to go to college. Okay, very good. Appreciate you being on. Yeah, thank you. Donnie, you're a senior also. Uh, kind of talk a little bit about the positions that you play. Um, I do a little bit of both. Uh, play right tackle on offense, and uh, I, I would have guessed you as a free safety. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I play a little bit of defense from time to time. I play uh, tackle. What is it? D, D tackle on oh, defense. Uh, I do field goal for a special team, and that's about it. Same question uh, I asked uh, before. Uh, you've seen a lot of different coaches, you know, the last few See, years. This is my first year. Oh, playing. is it really? Okay, yeah. I, I didn't realize that. Then. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Then why did you decide to come out this year? Uh, I know a lot of people talked me into doing it. Kind of just went with it, like it. You know, I'm sure two a days. Did you ever wonder what am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like that when I when it first started, but I kind of got used to it. Okay. But, As you look back, do you wish maybe you had played football the last yeah, year or two? Yeah, I love it. Okay. How tough of an adapter of an adjustment was it from really playing no football? I mean, did you ever play like midget football? Yeah, or I played midget. Like yeah. Okay. So you had some knowledge of the mm -hmm. game then. Okay. But just probably the physicality and so yeah. forth is probably a lot different than you remembered it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough, rough start for me, but I got through it. Did you have any goals for yourself going into the season, knowing that you know you really hadn't played in the past? Mm, I just wanted to be on the field a lot and kind of getting there. So, I talk about you know the team chemistry and camaraderie and so forth. And it sounds like from the, the people I've talked to this year, there's, there's a real closeness and a real uh, bonding on this team, maybe that there hasn't been in the past. Mm -hmm. You're a senior. Do you play any other sports? No. Okay. Football. A any idea what you want to do next year? Uh, it's a tough one, but I kind of was asking around, like looking into real estate stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, it's October. June's a long way away. Yeah. Well, 
couple of games left. Hopefully, you can make an impact the next couple of games. And I uh, appreciate uh, you both being on. Good luck against Pleasant, and good luck, uh, good luck next week in uh, the final home game of the season. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you being on. We'll be back. We're going to preview the game against Pleasant on Friday night. We'll do that right after these words. Back once again on the Coach's Corner program and uh, Coach uh, Friday night, big game against Pleasant. Before we talk about them, I did want to ask about your uh, practicing because uh, we haven't talked about that mm -hmm. this year. Uh, a lot of the people may know that Harding High School is not where you play your football games on Friday mm -hmm. night. You play them at the old Grant Middle School. Mm -hmm. Do you practice at Harding? Do you practice at Grant? Uh, if you practice at Grant, is that an issue getting the kids to yeah, and from the stadium? We actually practice at Grant. Um, we, you know, we, we have the turf field and then there's a half, uh, mini grass field behind there. So um, we have a bus that actually, Marion transports our guys over that don't drive. They, we have a bus that okay. picks them up here and takes them to practice. So it's, it's a nice little perk. Okay. I'll talk a little bit about Pleasant, uh, kind of a similar situation. They have a new head coach this year as well. Uh, a lot of people, Harding people remember mm -hmm. uh, Coach Wessler. Mm -hmm. um, Pleasant's a team that struggled the last couple of years. Uh, much like Harding, uh, you're in a situation where you're looking at the playoffs. Pleasant's in a situation where they're looking at the playoffs. I think maybe Pleasant has maybe been one of the uh, surprise teams mm -hmm. in the area Absolutely. as far as how well they've, they've played. So uh, hopefully the weather will be nice on Friday yeah. night because it should be a really good football game. Yeah, we're excited. This, this, again, this is why the kids play this game. Is you get to play in games like this. Um, you know, they got a good staff over there, good football team. Um, they're kind of like us where, you know, sometimes you look like they can't lose a game. Then the next time you look at them, they, you're like, yeah, okay. So, um, you know, and we're in the same boat. We've done the same thing. You know, we at times we look really good and at times we don't. So be a very good football game to watch. Yeah, I know the game against Highland where they mm -hmm. really were able to contain Nauman yeah. um, and played really, really mm -hmm. well uh, defensively, especially after the first couple of minutes of the mm -hmm. ball game. Uh, there have been games where they played really, really well, but as you say, there have been games, I saw the River Valley Pleasant game a few weeks ago, and mm -hmm. uh, Pleasant just didn't compete very well in that right. game against River Valley. Yeah. It's all about matchups. Yes, it is, it is, it is. And, uh, you know, they, they got some really good players. Uh, their quarterback is really special. Yep. He he he's, he can do it all. He can run and he slings it. Um, you know we're, we're going to have to contain him to to have a chance on Friday night. You know you're eight games into the season. Injury wise, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Um, you know we've had a couple um, guys get banged up. Um, we did lose our linebacker. Um, he he broke his foot on Friday night, which is you know he was one of our leading tacklers. Mm -hmm. So. You know, but it's next man up. You got to get up. And, uh, we've done pretty good in that department because we two-way most of our guys, and they're all like, um, he was a two-way guy. He only went one way, um, so we, we don't do a lot of two-way guys. We, so we're pretty healthy. All right, the key to the game: <laughs> score more points. Score right, more <laughs> points. Stop number one. Uh, yeah, we we have to stop him. He he's and offensively, you know, we cannot turn the football over. That that's our Achilles heel. When we struggle in games, we turn it over. And if we take care of the football, um, you know, Alex has got a cannon for an arm, and you know, we got guys that can go get it. Um, you know, we're getting better up front, offensive line wise. Uh, Dalen does a good job of running the ball, so we just got to take care of the football. You know, we we been preaching all week, end every drive with a kick, either a punt. Extra point or field goal. And if we do that, I think we'd be okay. I'm going to put you on the spot. Ontario mm -hmm. and Shelby play Friday night. Uh, are you going to give me uh, a prediction? Uh, I mean, I almost I would side with Shelby. I just think Shelby's got the athletes on the outside. Um, it's it's it make it rough on them. But you know, nobody's beat them yet. yet so uh, if I had to pick, I would take Shelby. Yeah, it should be a full house. Yeah, it should be a full house. It'd be a good game. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Look forward appreciate to doing it. this again next week. Thanks, sir. 
going to wrap it up for this edition of the Coach's Corner program. For Coach Williamson, I'm Jeff Ruth. Thanks for watching.